There's been a lot of speculation about a possible medieval free after the Creative Assembly took out a trademark for Total War Medieval. However, this also sparked the possibility of a medieval trilogy. The name is in a different order, so they could certainly get away with this. Today, I want to discuss ways in which the medieval era could be broken down into three. But first, it's best to look and see how Warhammer did it. Warhammer 1 is a generic Warhammer Total War game, set in that universe. Warhammer 2 expands upon this greatly with two campaigns. One new one dedicated to that time, and the second being Mortal Empires, which is just a combination of 1 and 2. Warhammer 3, I believe, is meant to have one campaign focusing on the far east of the map, and then the big one, encompassing all three titles. So, how could this work for a medieval trilogy? Assuming they use the same formula. Which, by the way, I hope they do. This system may be more expensive in the long run, but the constant improvement onto the game, over and over again, every few years, to get closer and closer to perfection, I think makes it worth it. Anyway, the first medieval title would have to be very generic. An introduction to the medieval world. I imagine a map a lot like Medieval 2, but seriously upgraded and much more in depth. There's also the possibility of a new engine, which has been predicted by some. I'll have a video on the possibility on that in the coming weeks also. Then, the second title, in my opinion, would focus on the Mongol invasion. The launch campaign about the Mongols themselves, a Khan total war, and then, eventually, a free campaign for those who own both, which includes all of the medieval one map merged with the Mongols, India and China. Pretty big, but I have already made a video on that, and it is certainly possible for them to handle it. In fact, it would be even easier by that point, especially if there was to be a new engine as well. The third title, I think, should be about the decline of the medieval world, the rise of gunpowder, and the impact it had, and maybe the early days of discovery. I know many people want a renaissance total war, but I really think this would be the closest we could get. I don't think a Total War game can be made about the Renaissance without covering the era before. To truly grasp the Renaissance, you cannot just load up into it. You have to experience the world and then see it change before you. I feel this is logical, but I am sure you might disagree. Next, I want to share my opinion on start dates. Admiral Price, the YouTuber, made a video building up a bit of hype for this medieval game, video linked in the description. We had a little talk in the comments and he thinks the best divider is Rise of Islam, Start of the Crusades, and then the Mongols as the third game. This certainly does make sense also. Rise of Islam, you guessed it, about the rise of Islam, but also the Viking invasions in the north at the same time. A logical split of the medieval world, early, high and late, how historians divide it. However, I don't think this would be the start date. CA has left potential clues, a small pattern, Rome 2 released, and then the DLC covered the Roman era, leading up, near enough, to Attila. Attila then released, covering the fall of Rome. You then had the last Roman, 
Now, if you stopped there, then Admiral Price's theory would fit perfectly. But we then had Age of Charlemagne, which does overlap with this time period. And then, on top of that, we had Thrones, focusing on the Viking invasions of Britain. I feel there would be too much overlap if a medieval one was to start with the rise of Islam, or a medieval three if it's not a trilogy. So what I decided to do is look at when Thrones ended, 1066, which I think would be the perfect start year for a total war game. Not only is it a perfect year, given the sudden change that's about to take place in Western Europe, but it fits the pattern of the last historical titles as well. I think Medieval 1 would start in 1066, with the Norman invasion and the Viking invasion as well. Newer Total Wars can now manage interesting complex events such as this war, which in Medieval 2 was not possible. So in Medieval 2 they skipped past it and started at 1080, once the chaos settled down. This game, I think, will have a heavy focus on the Crusades and the back and forth over holy areas. Very Medieval 2, although I think it might have a Mongol invasion at the end, I think this would be very much like Medieval 2 also. Mongols just spawn in and you try and survive, but it certainly won't go as far as the Gunpowder Era. The second title is where this gets a little bit difficult to plot, but I think the launch campaign would be set with the rise of Genghis Khan and his war in Asia. The full campaign, once released, I think would start not too long after the first game, maybe like 1080 to 1150, possibly. There will be overlap, but then again, I think there is overlap in the Warhammer trilogy. At the end of the day though, the massive updated map would vastly make it worthwhile. The third, I think, has to focus on the chaos of gunpowder. The Mongols will probably be at their peak when it starts, but about to decline. Threat of the peasants rising up, religious rebellions and colonialism would eventually start to kick off. Possibly. And it would end somewhere in the Renaissance. And as both myself and Admiral Price does think, this could also be the perfect segue into a true pike and shot total war. But of course, this is all just speculation. I think it fits for. We know a historical title is in development, and has been for almost a year, possibly longer. We now have, I think, four medieval related hints over the last year as well. Sadly, nothing too concrete for. Overall, I think the trilogy system would be the perfect way to go. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you were developing this game, how would you divide it? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to get notified of more Total War content, but for now, I have been Malkor. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one, tomorrow's video. But for now, goodbye.